Hey guys, I'm here today with Easy Drummer. I'm gonna show you how to get all your portions of your drums into separate tracks so that you can modify, add EQ, do your own compression, whatever you need to do on each portion of the drum set. And so first, um, I'm using Cubase. This will work with any um, DAW that you're using. You might just have to do some research on how to activate the outputs. I'm gonna show you how to do it on Cubase. Just do some Google searching, it'll be real simple. So first, um, we have your track here. If you're on Cubase, you want to open up your Easy Drummer. Um, you can select this button once you've already made your instrument. <clears throat> you see it pops up there for me. Second, what you're going to want to do is go up to your mixer. And you'll see down here we have all these different numbers. They're all on one right now because they're all going to output one. Which is why when I play it, you'll see here all my volume is coming on that one track. So now if we go through these and you actually change them, to the different numbers. So we'll do kick on one, snare on two, output two, three, four, and I'll just go up to overhead so you guys can see how it works. Now we have these sending to different outputs, okay? But the thing that you'll see here is we still have one output. So you're gonna wanna activate your outputs on Cubase. Like I said, if you're using a different die, you might wanna do some research on how to do this. I know in Cubase, all I need to do is go down to here on the left hand portion, there's a um, there's a button here and you'll see it says activate outputs. It pops up this um, page here and then you can see it has the different outputs. So I'll go up to five. So I already have one. I'm gonna do two, three, four, and five. And the reason why I'm doing this on Cubase is because I know that in certain new versions of 10, there has been the issue that they don't pop up. But you'll see here, that they popped up on my fader side, you'll see. So the reason why they don't pop up here, it's a it's a bug, and I'm pretty sure they should have fixed it or will fix it in an update. The way, way to get around this is actually to do some automation, and I just do it real simple. I press play, and then I'll touch the volume, and you'll see they just all popped up. I'll take away any of the read, write. So everything that I just did is gone. If I were to make some weird automation I didn't want, just get it away, boom, they have all five of yours here. And if we solo this one, this will be our snare and you can relabel it. Um, this will actually be our hi-hat, I'm sorry. Oh no, this will be our snare because we have easy, easy two, easy two, and you hear that it's just our snare. So on and so forth. And now you can go into your effects and you know modify this however you want, add compression, do your thing and do EQ, maybe gate some stuff, and it really, really helps, gets your tracks nice and tight. You can do a sub bus on the drum mix, and then you can, you know, compress that, make that sound really tight and glued. And it's much better than the compressor that's supplied within Easy Drummer, I personally think, and yeah, more control. Hope you found this video uh, helpful, and if you wanna see more, please subscribe, thank you.